Hi, Nate from Travel Lemming here, and I'm going to walk you through how to use the ITA matrix to really supercharge your search for cheap airfare. This is the second step of my personal three-step process for finding cheap international flights, which I have used to find literally hundreds of flights to help me fly to probably about 45 countries in the last three years across six continents. Uh, this is the second part of that process. You can watch the first part of that process in the blog post, which is linked to in the bottom uh, in the details of this video. So the second part of my process is to use what's called the ITA matrix. Now, the ITA matrix doesn't have a particularly memorable URL, so I usually just start by Googling it, uh, and we'll find it up here. It's matrix.itasoftware.com. So we'll go check out the, the ITA matrix. Now, the ITA matrix, what well, you should know about it, uh, was bought out by Google a few years ago, uh, but it's basically a very powerful uh, system for putting together a bunch of uh, different potential flight plans. It's not actually a booking uh, site. You can't actually make any flight bookings here. Uh, it's bought out by Google and Google Flights runs on it. Google Flights is the first part of my process. Google Flights is very intuitive, uh, but ITA Matrix is a bit more powerful. So let's quickly walk through how to use ITA matrix. So you'll see here, comes up with this somewhat antiquated, but nonetheless easy to use uh, feature here. So let's say that I'm trying to go from New York uh, and I just want to go somewhere in, uh, somewhere in Western Europe. So we'll start out by picking a central location, I would say Paris. Um, and I'm willing to travel uh, to another airport uh, in order to be flexible about my departing airport because that's really important to be flexible about that. Uh, so we can search for other airports within 300 miles that I could potentially leave from. There's a bunch of them, Philadelphia, Boston, Washington, Dulles, all of those I could potentially get to if it meant saving enough money. Just quickly select them all. And now it will search all of those airports. And for Paris, the same thing. I'm willing to go anywhere in Europe. It doesn't have to be just Paris. I could go to Stockholm. I could go to Madrid. I could go uh, you know, to Dublin, wherever. So let's say anywhere within 300 miles of Paris. Uh, let's select all of these possible destinations. Uh, and then, you know, you can search exact dates here. Um, but like I said, I always say be flexible about the departing date, uh, your departing airport, and your destination. So better to be flexible if you can. Um, so we can do a flexible search here where we say, uh, okay, I want to go any time in the month of May. You can actually do any day in the next month after that. So you can do April 20th, and I'll go through May 20th. And then you can say, how long do you want to stay? You can say, I want to stay exactly seven days. Um, or you could say, you know, I want to stay a minimum of seven days, but I'm willing to stay up to 12 by just push, putting a little dash in there and saying 12. You can make those numbers whatever you want. It gives you lots of flexibility about how that works out. Go down here, cheapest available, of course. We're not, this is not, you know, we're not finding first class tickets here. Um, stops, uh, we'll take whatever stops uh, you give us, that's fine. Extra stops, uh, we'll take up to two of those. We want to really maximize our ability to get cheap flights here. Um, and then there's currency and, and stuff like that. You should probably leave that, these other options like they are. Now we're going to go ahead and run this search. And so here's the thing you have to know about the ITA matrix. It's much more powerful than Google Flights or Kayak or most other searching engines, but it's also really slow, especially when you're running a search like this. Because as you can see right here, what it's doing is it's running searches from all of those airports that we selected to all of those other airports that we selected, times all of those different days. There's like, you know, dozens of possible day combinations. So it's literally searching tens of thousands of possible flights right now, trying to find uh, the, the what we're searching for. Um, and it's really good because it means that it'll come, hopefully come up with a, a cheap airfare for us, uh, but it also does mean that it can take a while. So you kind of want to be thoughtful when you're using the ITA matrix about how you use it in the first instance. You also want to be, uh, you know, you, you, I, I would say what, what also is, is important to keep in mind is that Google Flights uh, which now is owned by the same company as ITA Matrix, is a lot more intuitive. A lot of times gives the same results, to be totally candid with you. But ITA Matrix can be really good for running a lot of searches at once. And, you know, that, as I said, that took a little bit of time there, but that was less than a minute to search 
what were literally tens of thousands of possible flights. So as you can see here, we have this little nifty calendar that comes up that shows us what all the prices are for potential flights in May uh, between somewhere around New York and somewhere around Paris. And we can see here, um, it just, it's again, not the most intuitive interface, but you can see, uh, you know, if we leave on the 12th or any time thereafter, that's gonna be our cheapest flight. And it's gonna be somewhere in the neighborhood of $355. You can also see the cheapest one is for eight or nine nights. But if you wanted to stay for 12 nights instead, it's not that much more expensive, it's an additional $14. Um, so you could you could take the, the 12 night flight to the eight night flight if that's what you want. Let's go ahead and just click this eight night flight here. And then it'll go through and it'll run the search again to actually pull the specific flights. And again, we don't even know at this point exactly which air, uh, which destinations it's between because we selected so many different ones. We made a really broad search. If you're not willing to go to a bunch of different destinations, keep it more narrow. You know, around New York, there's a number of different airports, so you can put it at, you know, 50 or 100 miles. Um, but uh, if you really need to keep, go to stick to a specific destination, you got to keep that search a little bit more narrow. So let's go ahead and see uh, what it comes up here. And you'll notice as it's doing this, it's taking time. It says, four faster results, try Google Flight Search. Uh, and that's 100% true, which is um, this, this process just takes an extra minute or two. But hopefully it'll come up with a deal that's worth it. In the meantime, while we're waiting, uh, you can find the blog post in the details of this YouTube video that will walk through my exact three-step process uh, of how I save money uh, with flights. Okay, so here now it comes up, and this looks a little bit more like what you might expect from a typical um, airfare search engine. It's got a bunch of different flights. You can you can sort it by carrier. You can sort it by nonstop, one stop. Our cheapest flight option, $343, uh, goes from JFK to, uh, this is to London Heathrow, uh, and then leaves from London Gatwick. So actually it's going to be going to London uh, and not to Paris, but that's fine. We said we we're perfectly fine going anywhere in Western Europe. Uh, and you'll notice it actually flies into one London airport and out of the other London airport. Uh, so it's doing these searches to sort of make these make these these uh, uh, these searches better for you uh, and to cast a wider net. Uh, this is a direct flight, which is great. Um, obviously, that's that's the gold standard. But if you're looking for a cheap flight, you got to be ready for some stops. So to go to the next step, we we'll just click on this flight and it'll pull this up, which shows you the itinerary. It's an Amer American Airlines flight shows you the exact date. And then it shows you the information about the ticket, uh, including the cost breakdown. Uh, what's really interesting here is that each of these tickets is only $28 for the actual airfare. The rest of it is fees and taxes. So this is like, you're getting pretty close to as cheap as you can possibly get here um, for a flight uh, between London and New York. Um, I guess it could get a little cheaper if the airline had a smaller surcharge than here, but by and large, um, this is about as cheap as you can possibly get. So, uh, you know, what, what it says here is you cannot actually purchase a ticket directly from ITA. And that's right, because ITA doesn't, it's not, like I said at the beginning, it's not an actual full on uh, booking site. Um, to do that, you're gonna have to go find it yourself. Now they give you instructions here at the end. Here's, here's a, uh, a bunch of coding numbers that you could provide to a travel agent. If you have a travel agent, I can't remember the last time I worked with a travel agent. I didn't use a travel agent. Um, you can almost always find these flights on your own without a travel agent uh, assisting you. You might have to just do it piece by piece um, by finding each of these flights and buying them separately, for instance. But oftentimes you can find them simply enough by just searching in Google Flights itself. So let's pop over and go to google.com slash flights. And let's see if we can find a specific flight there. So we're going from, New from JFK to LHR. And this is gonna be a multi-city trip because it leaves from different airports. JFK to LHR, and then we're leaving out of Gatwick, London Gatwick, back to JFK, and the dates on that were the 12th to the 21st. So we pop in the 12th to the 21st, 12th, sorry, and then pop in the 21st, and then we just quickly do a, a search and see what Google Flights comes up with. Uh, you can off, also do this search on the American Airlines website directly since it's an American Airlines flight. Um, but as you'll see here, it's actually pulling up that airfare. And this is the same airfare as what we got over here, $342. Uh, 
Um, but they're pulling it up as cheaper uh, primarily on the British Airways, like uh, British Airways booking, although it looks like there is also a different one uh, that you could book on American. Um, and so what's interesting is you'll notice that there's, there's a bunch of different times here where you can actually get a different flight um, on that day that will get you there as well for the same cost, uh, other than what the matrix pulled up. So now you have a little bit more flexibility to say, okay, I want to leave earlier in the day so I get there at a more reasonable price time. And then you book your return ticket here. And then here we are. Uh, this is the actual, you know, this from here you can book. You can just click through and we'll book with British Airways. It'll take us to the British Airways website. And from there you can buy the ticket. Um, so uh, that's that's pretty much it in terms of how the uh, the ITA matrix, which is now owned by Google, works. Uh, and yeah, let's see. Why is this not? <laughs> sometimes it, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. You can also try booking with American. Hopefully, this will actually come through. Here we go. So as you can see, uh, and this is you know this is a basic economy. Uh, fair, so you're going to have to pay for bags. Um, but it is a total of $341.13, uh, and so you can just fly straight out of there. So that's pretty much it about how to use the ITA matrix. Step two of my process for saving money on flights. First is use Google Flights, uh, it, particularly the Explore feature. Second is use the ITA matrix. Uh, and the third is to download the app Jetto, uh, which you can use to sort of automate this process for you. Uh, and if you do that, um, be sure to enter the code FLY2019 when you do, so that you can get a free premium trial from that. For more, check out my website, TravelEdmay.com, and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more money-saving tips. Thank you.